Okay, I just thought I'd talk you through this. This is what I've been working on for the last three days, and I finally got, I'd say, about 95% finished item from it. Like, and it's a bit late, so I'm talking quiet. But how I initially went about creating these, this is this is like the master that, I made, that I've made. To go about making this master, I've made a kit of pieces. So I think what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make the same thing over and over again. And every time I want to do something, I tend to make like a little, I'm going to like make a little construction kit to just make my work a bit easier, a bit more fluid. And as you can see, these are the moulds I made initially for the uh, meant to be thick that when it's too near to make it that thick. This is what was left in the pot. But that's that one. And then I made another thinner one, another one, with some end sections in like a fire hole or shell hole, which is which is that one. It's when you put the two pieces together, it gives you like the finished section. I also made like a little brick mould, because I was using a lot of these for rubble and stuff. So I got them. But once I'd made the master, I mean I did forget to etch there, which was annoying, there's a little bit of etching there, which isn't done, but I think all in all, it wasn't a bad little master. I cast a block mould, simple block mould look. And that is his very first cast resin piece from it. I put it on a base that you can either stand on its own and just cover with flock. Or you could quite easily cut it off if you didn't want it. I don't think, I mean, I still see the joints open because I know where they are. But I think I'm just being a bit too fussy. I mean, it's a little slight miscast on the top, which I'm just to repair the mould. Or to what I'd call a miscast anyway. But I don't think, I mean, I didn't put much rubble on because I thought a lot of people made the base too big and some people just want to dump them down and some people want to put their own rubble around it. But I don't think that is too bad for the first cast. But you can see it took me three days to make all the bits, to, to make the kit. But now like I can make corners, I can make uh, sections like that. But with like fire points through. And I'm just trying to make, I mean there's, there's a lot of there's walls available and stuff all on market like and that. But I'm trying to just make stuff a bit different to what's available. Do you know what I mean? I know a wall's a wall, but I've done really sell with fire points through, and I think being a bit raggedy at the ends like that looks quite nice. I mean, if you had a few of them lined up with some other little pieces, it gives you areas to get through, but you still can like have objectives, things to block line of sight and stuff. But anyway, that's the first of the set. So I'll just keep posting them as I make them. Any questions on how I make these things, just ask me. And I'll talk you through as best I can. Anyway, some more war madness. So, take care folks. Speak soon.